What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Adventure Force Ion Pro. This blaster is a spring powered top prime magazine fed blaster that works with short darts and long darts. It is the little brother to the Nexus Pro, which I have already reviewed. So let's get into it. Included is the blaster, detached muzzle, mag converter, magazine, two extra O-rings, short darts, and the instructions. The Ion Pro is very similar to the Nexus Pro, which I have already reviewed. I will be glazing over some of the details, so it might benefit you to watch the Nexus Pro review prior to this one. But this is not your standard Nerf blaster, bros. This thing shoots insanely hard, and it also works with short darts, which are super accurate and precise. This thing's like sniper status and a pistol. So external overview, starting up at the front. There's no inch strike barrel lug. This is not a Nerf brand blaster. It has this cool looking flash hider. This is just pressure fitted in there, so you can pull it out if you don't want it. I did not see any change in performance, adding it or taking it off. Up top, we have a Picatinny style rail, so if you want to mount an optic or something, you can. And below that is just a comfortable place to put your front hand, but there's no compartment or anything else to manipulate up front. Up top is the priming handle. To prime, you pull back and push forward. The prime weight required is way harder than any other Nerf blaster on the market right now. I do not recommend this blaster to super young people. After shooting this for a few minutes, it's actually difficult and like strained my muscles to continue priming this blaster. But the prime action is very smooth and it's a very well-designed grip with a nice stopping point to catch your hand in the back. It's not difficult to prime because it's poorly designed at all. It's just a ridiculously powerful spring in here. But when you prime this back, you reveal the open breach right here. There's no access door to move, it's just totally open, so you can get your finger in there to clear out jams and malfunctions without any hassle at all. However, I did not experience any jams and malfunctions with this blaster. Now down to the magazine well, this blaster includes the short darts with the short magazine as well. So to remove the short magazine, you strike this longer paddle here in order to pull that out. The included magazine holds 12 of these short half-length darts, but the blaster is compatible with the worker half-length darts and a few other magazines that I tried. I would actually recommend you use the worker half-length magazines, in my opinion, these are manufactured better than the dart zone ones. This does not slide as easily into the mag well, but the worker ones work very well. It feeds just fine, it just doesn't go in as smoothly. But that's if you want to use the half-length magazine and the included half-length dart. If you want to use full-length darts, you use the other magazine release, which removes this converter. This magazine converter is the same as the one that's included with the Nexus Pro, so this converter goes into a full-size magazine well in order to get the smaller mag in there. But when you take the magazine converter out, you're able to put in a full-size magazine to shoot full-length darts. In the Ion Pro, unlike the Nexus Pro, works with a lot of the Nerf magazines. It works with the 18 round stick mags, even with this hump here, which is really great to see. However, it does not work with all of the magazines. This drum does not seat properly. But it is more compatible than the Nexus Pro, this 25 round drum and a pistol. That's pretty cool. So when you're using full size magazines, you use the primary mag release right here. But I have the same complaint with this mag well as I did with the Nexus Pro. This weird divot right here makes it a little weird to shove your mag in quickly. It's just a bizarre shape to align. I miss my reloads quite a bit. Not a big deal unless you're trying to speed reload while you're taking fire then you'll notice. <laughs> Continuing the overview, behind the priming handle right here is a reset button. After you prime this blaster, you're not able to prime it again. Pushing this in allows you to override that lock. And this also allows you to shotgun load. You can shoot two and even three darts at once, which I will show you in the firing demo. And below that is the trigger safety. When it's protruding on this side, you cannot pull the trigger. Then you push it through and you're able to pull the trigger, which is the same design as the Nexus Pro. However, with the Ion Pro, I had this safety jimmy itself into the safe position without me actually touching it. Just operating the blaster, it kept sliding out and then eventually locking up because the safety engaged. It's not too big a deal just to push it back in and turn it off, but it was enough to annoy me. And below that is the trigger. The trigger pull is pretty standard. This blaster does not have slam fire. And now down to the grip. Just like the Nexus Pro, this grip is fantastic. Very comfortable. It looks super basic because it kind of is, but basic works. You don't need to have all the jazz like all these Elite 2.0 blasters. That crap gets in the way. This is very war practical and very comfortable for long periods of time. However, there's no rear sling attachment point, so you can't drop this as a secondary, which is kind of a bummer. That is an external overview of the Adventure Force Ion Pro. So this blaster is compatible with the included short darts, but also Nerf Elite darts and darts on waffle head darts. In addition to that, I'm showing you a two-shot and a three-shot shotgun burst using the override right here. Very versatile blaster. Let's see it fire. Shooting the included half-length darts. Now shotgun loading, shooting two at once with the included half-length darts.
Now shotgun loading three at once with the included half length darts. Now shooting Dart Zone brand Waffle Head darts out of a full length magazine. Now shooting Nerf Elite darts out of a Nerf magazine. Operating the Ion Pro was lots of fun. It's a deceiving amount of power. It shoots insanely hard. It shoots just as hard as the Nexus Pro, but it's way smaller. Very cool. And being able to shotgun load, while it does take a few seconds to set up, it's very cool. And I did not experience any jams or malfunctions other than the safety sliding into safe position, as I already mentioned. So to compare the firing performance to other blasters, which is so not fair, I put it up on my chronograph. With the included short darts, I achieved an average velocity of 147 feet per second. Then with Nerf Elite darts, achieved an average velocity of 134 feet per second. And with Darts on waffle head darts, 135 feet per second. Holy moly, it's shooting hard, bros. This is compared to the 70 FPS par that we can expect out of most Nerf brand blasters on the market right now. It's shooting twice as hard as Nerf guns. It shoots insanely hard, bros. It's just a different class. And I also did the shotgun loads over the Chrono. When I was shooting two at once, I achieved an average velocity of 100 FPS. And with three at once, 75 FPS. To make this shoot as hard as a Nerf blaster, it requires shooting three darts at once, which is the most overpowered shotgun right now. This is just awesome. So yeah, Ion Pro shooting hard, bros. That's the objective information I can provide on this blaster, now to my personal opinion. Overall, I am blown away by the performance of this thing. It shoots insanely hard. Everything is designed really well, and the priming handle works very smoothly. However, this is a very strong spring. After shooting off a couple magazines, it's, it's physically difficult to hold on to the blaster to keep firing at a high rate of fire. Compared to the Nexus Pro, which has this awesome pump grip, you can fire this all day, but this is more ergonomic for long-term sustained play. I think this is above the limit of a reasonable top prime, and I know that's a subjective opinion and I'm gonna get crap for it. Yeah, I'm saying it shoots too hard. Companies, can you make it shoot a little lighter? I know what I'm saying and I know how crazy it sounds, but it gets physically challenging to maintain a high rate of fire. If you're only shooting every couple seconds, it's not a big deal, but if you wanna sit there and spray foam, this is a tricky one to do it. But my overall opinion is still very positive for a very particular role in our hobby. So to buy or not to buy, honestly, I don't think many people should be buying this blaster. First, if you're a stock class nerfer and you play indoors with friends that are using stock blasters, you really cannot use this blaster. You will F them up. And honestly, it shoots too hard for my taste, I wouldn't shoot this at a friend in my house because it, it gets uncomfortable. It shoots 150 FPS. I mean, a dart at that velocity, it leaves a mark on your skin. It's uncomfortable if you're engaging under 30 feet. So a stock class nerfer to buy or not to buy, honestly, no. This is really designed for modders and outdoor nerfers only. If you're engaging at 60 or 70 feet, you want that distance and it is a different hobby and it's a lot of fun to play in those wars, but it really can't be compared to like a strife at all. This is more of a blaster designed for a modder that doesn't actually want a mod, but it's available on store shelves. What a time to be alive, bros. 10 years ago, nobody would believe you if you said something like this or the Nexus Pro would be available at Walmart. They just would have said no. <laughs> so it's a phenomenal blaster. It works very well. Ridiculously fast firing performance, and these darts are super precise. However, being a magazine-fed pistol, you can't really holster this blaster, and if you're looking for a primary, I would really recommend you buy the Nexus Pro instead for sustained
sustained fire playing all day past like 20 minutes of time, this is just easier. It's just mechanically easier. You don't have to stress your hand at all. You can fire this all day, every day. After shooting off a couple magazines, this really gets tiring to shoot. It's a strong spring. So it's a phenomenal blaster. It works exceptionally well. No jams and malfunctions to really complain about. And it's compatible with short darts, different magazines, Nerf Elite darts, darts on waffle head darts, most of the magazines I tried. So there's certainly no objective reason to avoid purchasing this one, but I would really recommend you look at the Nexus Pro instead. But still a mechanically phenomenal blaster, excellent performer, along with the Nexus Pro. Dart Zone is just really up in their game lately. Performance nerfers that know what they're looking for aren't buying Nerf anymore. They're pushing towards Dart Zone. But hopefully I've laid out all the information you need to make an educated purchase decision on the Ion Pro. If you'd like to buy one, I'll put a buy link in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.